Trevor is with us. Trevor is in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hi, Trevor. How are you? Hi, Dave and Ken. How are you guys? Great, man. How can we help? Good. Hey, I have a career question. Um, I guess it's kind of a, a good problem to have, I think. Um, a few weeks ago, I was um, um, in the interview process for um, two different roles. And um, kind of, I guess, company A, we went through the process, and they sent me an offer. And so I followed up with company B, and only to find out that the hiring manager had resigned from the, his position. So uh, I'm a Christian, so I kind of saw that as kind of one door closing, another one opening, and I accepted the offer to the first company. Um, well, about a week later, the leadership from company B um, contacted me and asked if he could send over an offer. Um, so kind of the predicament I'm in now is I have two offers, but I've already accepted one offer from another company. So I'm just struggling ethically kind of how to handle that situation. Um, and so I just wanted to call you guys for some advice on that. Sure. So what's the better offer for you? Clearly B? Um, I think so. Yeah. I think otherwise I think there'd be no be struggle. The, yeah. yeah. There's no struggle. So, so, yeah, I, right. So here's what you have to weigh. Um, your your morality you're a really good guy you're a high character guy so you feel bad about this because you want to take b but you're worried about how they're going to feel and maybe a little bit more worried about how you're going to look if you go back to a and go hey listen i accepted the offer i was up for two offers at the time here's what happened um and i, I think you have to say how would you want someone to handle this situation with you uh and and so here let me give you what i think is the the real issue you have to get comfortable with if you take A, in other words, if you stay with A, but you really want B, and B is the better offer, um, you're really doing A a disservice if you stay anyway. So what you think feels like, well, I accepted the offer, I've got to be a good guy, I've got to be high character, and i got to stay with A, but your eye is always on B, I think it's doing a disservice to company A anyway. So I think the way to handle this, okay. the way I would handle it is, is to treat someone the way I would want to be treated in this situation, which is be absolutely clear and upfront about what happened, the timeline and everything. What's, They're not uh, going to be happy about it, but you got to do what you believe sure. is right for you long term. What's the difference in the offers? Uh, uh, about fifteen thousand dollars a year. Annually. What about the companies? Um, so one company, uh, company A, is a little more established um, and has a little bit more um, structure. So I kind of know what I'm getting into. Uh, company B is a little more. Uh, it's smaller and it's it's got. They're going through a lot of changes and there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of eyeballs on the role. Yeah, they're um, also very disorganized. Probably. I no, they are. They you told me the hiring manager got quit or got fired, and they never followed up to you with you until you'd already accepted another offer. You're exactly right. They had yep. no handoff. They had no methodology for handing off a lost employee and picking up their workload. They're disorganized. That's true. And so they're more of a startup, and they're flying by the sea of their pants. Which one are you going to exist better in? I might be better in the startup because I'm kind of that rough and tumble guy. But some sure. people, some people prefer the structure and the predictability. Yeah, and I'm I'm coming from a larger kind of publicly traded company, so I'm I'm used to that a little bit more. So what's what's most kind of. attractive about B? Is it just the fifteen thousand dollar bump, or is there more to it than that? Boy, well, that's a, that's certainly a part of it. Um, well, is it the majority part? Because I'm telling you, uh, for fifteen k, I'm not doing yeah, it. Yeah, for fifteen k, that'll wear off pretty quickly. If you if you see this as an opportunity, I, I'm not as uh, Dave brings a very good point, but I'd want to know: is this a isolated situation, or is this a pattern across the board with how they handled the miscommunication? You know what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, that's, so. That's a good so yeah. A is it a pattern, and B are you mostly attracted to B just because of the bump? It 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 would. I'm a pretty rough and tumble, ready to go with the startup, but it would concern me mm -hmm. if that they dropped a ball, and the ball, by the way, was you. <laughs> that, sure. that would concern sure. me a little yes. bit. Yes, yes. As long yeah. as it's, it could be isolated, I could see this happening. Yeah. So I want you. I want to put you on the spot. You didn't answer it yet. Is it mostly the pay? Or is this, you feel like this might be a good ladder for you to climb? Um, I, you know, I'm trying to reconcile that right now as we talk. Um, I think the pay has something to do with it, but I think there's 
there's definitely opportunity at both both places. So as What's far as the ladder to climb, like I think that's there's fair. opportunity at both places. That's fair. What's the total pay? Um, for the well, for which one? Uh, the total. I mean, either one, fifteen or minus fifteen. So, yeah. Okay. So the the higher pay is one twenty five. Okay, so one twenty five or one ten. Sure. Yeah. So we're talking about a fifteen percent swing, give or take fourteen percent swing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, I, I would be perfectly fine with either choice if I were you. If you want to walk into the other people and go, look, here's what happened. I don't like this. I don't even like how it feels. Mm-hmm. This is awkward. I'm very sorry. I'm going the other direction, and take B. Okay. Um, but I, I will throw into the mix just as a part of the decision, that I don't think this is apples to apples. You're, you're presenting this as apples to apples, plus or minus 15. And I think B is a lot more unpredictable. And I, I, I don't, single events don't bother me, but if you can establish that this, yeah. this is a pattern and this, is the, this organization just simply does not run as well for whatever reason, and that discounts it for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so I, you yeah, know, I, I you you can decide this, this that you can fresh i'm sorry okay i would say this is super fresh it just happened kind of this morning and so it's uh it's something that i that's the type of stuff that i want to i wanted to call you guys and like yeah. think about things that i wasn't how, already thinking how many about. employees is b oh 200 and how old are they yeah <laughs> uh five years old okay same industry or different industries um, different industries. All right. That's another question that I didn't bring up. I mean, long term, do, do you, you want to do for a living? Do you want to pivot to the industry of, of, of company B? Well, I mean, I should, I should preface this. I'm in, I'm in finance. So this is like a senior finance role. So it's, uh, it's, it'll be finance in both, in both. Oh, uh, okay. Just a different industry, same type of work, different industry. Yeah. Same yeah. type of work. But yeah. I, I think yeah. Dave's really, uh, onto something here. $15,000 is not a decision that I would make for the short term. I would go long term. Long, what's the right long term decision? Go ten, with ten years from now. With... Which one's going to make you the most happy? That's finance. Right. You're a very structured guy. You're a methodical, process yeah. driven guy. If there's chaos at that other place, it's going to drive you nuts. Mm-hmm. You need to really know that before you make this call. Mm-hmm. And um, it's not worth a fifteen bump if it's going to drive you nuts. Uh, and then that takes the problem off the table, yep. obviously. I'm not sure that's the case. I'm just questioning as to how this whole thing went down. If that was the way you ended up interacting with your leadership team for the next five years, you're, you, you're going to pull your hair out, man. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's if they, a good if, point. If, if, it's, um, if, it's, if, if that's what it is. Now, we've got a little of both around here. Honestly, we've got some areas of this company that are still very raw, very frontier, very pioneering, very rough and tumble, and very disorganized and chaotic. And then we've got other areas of this place that are running like a freaking sewing machine. There's, the processes are so dialed in and so professional, and we got 1,200 team members. So we got a little of both going on around here, so we could get accused of either. Um, it, it's not saying that company is right or wrong. I'm, right. Just, I'm just trying to make observations about how this guy yes. fits and where he goes in the thing here. So, um, yeah, but, but uh, uh the way to handle it, if you chose to do B, is simply just be up front and tell the truth. Yeah. Treat, all the way through. Do it the way you'd want somebody to handle you. Treat it's, other people like you want to be treated. Yeah. It solves be, all your business ethics yeah. problems. Be classy. Here's why, Dave. This is relevant to this last call. I shared an article today on the show, uh, the Ken Coleman Show. 30% of people who change jobs in the last two years are regretting it. Because Ooh. 30%. They took the paycheck, and then they said it wasn't as good as we thought it was going to be, or I missed my old company. I miss them. Whoa. So you got to be careful of making these kind of moves just for a pay bump. It's got to be a long-term play. Yeah. That'll be where you need to be. Good, good point.